Welcome to math class today. If it's morning for you, good morning. If it's afternoon, good afternoon. And today we are going to be learning about decimals that are greater than one. So here we go. I have made a number line. And my number line for this one is counting by ones. So if this is zero and that's one, you guys say it out, say what, what the next number would be. You're right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So this number line is counting by ones. And I'm just going to uh, circle now the number in the ones place in each one of these numbers. So that's in the ones place. All of these are in the ones place. When I get to this one, this one's in the ones place. Ones place. One. Ones. 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 I don't know if you noticed a pattern. Went zero to nine. Zero to nine. Zero. And this arrow means that that number line is going to keep on going. So the next one will be 21, 22. So if, just so you notice that the ones number is going from 0 to 9. So here is another number line. And this number line, uh, we are counting, if I see over here, we're going to count by tenths. So this number line is not counting by ones like this one was. This one's counting by tenths. So here would be zero, zero and zero parts. Here we have zero whole numbers and one part. So this would be, and we say that zero, uh, one tenth. So this would be two tenths, zero and three tenths, zero and four tenths, zero and five tenths, zero and six tenths, zero and seven, zero and eight tenths, zero and nine tenths, and here we get two one. We have the whole one and we have to say that it has zero parts. So one point zero or one and f no tenths, zero tenths. So this one would be, if you're counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, this one would be line number eleven. And we're going to write that we now have one whole and one part. So that would be one and one tenth. This one would be one and two tenths. This would be one and three tenths. This would be one and four tenths. One and five tenths. One and six tenths. One and seven tenths. One and eight tenths. One and nine tenths. And this would be two whole ones. So we have to say it's two whole ones and no parts. Two dot zero. We got no holes there. So notice what's happening with your number. Up here I counted the looked at the numbers in the ones place. Look what's happening to the numbers in the tenths place. The number in the tenths place is just like the number in the ones place up here. It's going from zero to nine, zero to nine, zero to nine. So it just keeps on going like that. There's a pattern in our ones place here, and when we're counting by tenths, the same pattern is following in the tens, in the tenths place. So this time I'm going to count from two to four. So I'm going to be counting by tenths. So if I have two whole ones and no parts, this would be two whole ones and one part. You're right. Two whole ones and two parts. Two whole ones and three parts. Two and four tenths. Two and five tenths. Two and six tenths. Two and seven tenths. Two and eight tenths. Two and nine tenths. And now, if we put another tenth with it, we're going to have the whole chocolate bar full. So we would have 
three and no tenths. Three and one tenths, three and two tenths, three and three tenths, three and four tenths, three and five tenths, three and six tenths, three and seven tenths, three and eight tenths, three and nine tenths, and here I have four whole chocolate bars colored in. So let's try one more. I'm thinking that you're getting the hang of it. You're seeing what I'm doing. So between each one of these numbers, I'm now taking this and dividing them into 10 little pieces, and that would be from here to here. Okay. One more. So this number line starts at 3 and 7 tenths. So if I was going to add another tenth, because this is my tenth number line, I would have three whole ones and, you're right, eight parts. Three whole ones and nine parts. I can't put ten parts there because that's the whole thing, so I have to change it to four whole ones and no parts. Four whole ones and one part, so four and one tenth. Four and two tenths. Four and three tenths. Four and four tenths, four and five tenths, four and six tenths, four and seven tenths, four and eight tenths, four and nine tenths. And I got nine other little pieces all filled in, so this time I'm gonna be filling in the whole thing so it will become five holes and no parts. Five and one tenth, five and two tenths, five and three tenths, five and four tenths, five and five tenths, five and six tenths, five and seven tenths. If I just keep on going, I would get five and eight tenths, five and nine tenths, and then I would get six. So there's always that pattern. So I'm going to leave that there. And now um, I'm going to ask you in a second, when I say pause, to pause the video and see if you can draw and label a number line on paper for the range of numbers. So what you will be doing is, this is an example, you'll be drawing your number line. I always make it a certain length. I go halfway, which would be in the middle, and then I put four lines. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And they usually end up about pretty even. So my first one is going to be six and three tenths, and my last number is going to be seven and three tenths. So if we know my pattern, my tenths have to keep on going from zero to nine. So I'm gonna go six and four tenths, six and five tenths, six and six tenths, six and seven tenths, six and eight tenths, six and nine tenths. Now I'm at the end of my sixes, so I'm gonna to go to seven and no tenths, seven and one tenth, seven and two tenths. So that's how I would like you to do that. So I would like you to pause the video and draw your number lines and write the numbers on them. And then um, we'll come back and I'll, you'll see if you got them right. Okay, you're back. Awesome. So now we're going to be drawing this number line. So I don't have to make it super long. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is 2 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 3. I hope that you got that all right on your paper. Awesome. So I'm going to put B down here. So I have to go from 15. So this is 15 and 2 tenths, and this is 16 and 2 tenths. So this would be 15 and 3 tenths, 15 and 4 tenths, 15 and 5 tenths, 15 and 6 tenths, 15 and 7 tenths, oops, 15 and 8 tenths, 15 and 9 tenths, and I have to go to 16 and no tenths, 16 and 1 tenth. So I hope you got those all right. I'm going to try to make this a little longer because my numbers are getting bigger. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this would be 234 and 5 tenths. And over here I have 235 and 5 tenths. So this would be 234 and 6 tenths, 234 and 7 tenths, 234 and 8 tenths, 234 and 9 tenths, 235 and no tenths, 235 and 1. 235 and 2 tenths, 235 and 3 tenths, 235 and 4 tenths, 235 and 5 tenths. Awesome. 
we are going to, I'm going to stop the video and um, we'll come back in part two.